What's up guys? For those of you that don't know, my name is Steven. I own Rock Solid Motorsports. Our primary business focus is around drag racing and offering unique uh, unique stuff that not any other company offers for the different car models and stuff. We have different roll cages, tubular front kits, parachute mounts, all types of stuff like that. Plus we do in-house builds. So for those of you that might just be visiting the channel, that's what we primarily do. But behind me here, we have an M4 Kubota, which I recently purchased. And being geared the way I am, I'm always looking to improve some of the factory stuff. Well, I started looking around and there is no aftermarket parts for these tractors. You can buy implements all day long. You can buy different attachments for the front of the loader. You can buy all that stuff, but you cannot buy replacement parts for the body of the tractor that are upgraded besides just replacing the factory stuff. So I noticed a couple things I needed first off whenever I got this thing, I've tore up a couple things that's led me to bring a couple products to the table for both the m4 models the m4 061 and 071 as well as the m6060 and 7060 which is this is a 6060 this is my dad's behind me so i'm fortunate to have it for r d as well so let's uh walk through this stuff and take a look at the couple products that rock solid motorsports offers for the kubota tractor owners now the very first thing I noticed whenever I was loading this thing on the trailer at Statesville Ag and Turf, by the way, another shout out for those guys. If you're needing something uh, near the Statesville area, or even if you're not near the Statesville area, North Carolina, check those, those, uh, check those guys out. I always get tongue tied when I make YouTube videos. But uh, Bradley is who I dealt with, great guy. You know, super easy to deal with. They'll give you a really good price uh make sure to check them out but anyway whenever i was loading this thing up the first thing i noticed is with a brand new tractor you know really expensive machine you don't want to throw a chain just through anywhere and start yanking down on the binder on the trailer i wanted to get it through a spot where it wasn't going to damage any of the lines up front or the tie rods or anything like that so I found there wasn't really any place unless I went through the bumper then I was going to scratch my new paint up which it scratched up now anyway but I didn't want to hurt my feelings right off the get go. So the first product we're going to introduce is our front bumper tie down point. This is half inch thick steel. This is also half inch thick. The whole thing's half inch thick comes with a uh, clevis here that's coated black this will also be powder coated black but this piece bolts right on your bumper we even send you longer bolts to make up for the half inch difference there in thickness you just uh the only thing you reuse is your lock washers but you just uh We'll send you the hardware to replace your OEM stuff, which is, I think this is harder, uh, grade eight stuff. Well, no, it's actually 10.9, so that's uh, the metric version of the grade eight. But this is a good place to tie your tractor down to the trailer. You can just run your chain through here, tighten it down good, or you can tow stuff with the front of the tractor, which you wanna be careful doing that because if something breaks, it's going to throw a chain through your grill into your radiator which some type of protection thing here might be one of our next products i just have to figure out how to still open the hood and stuff with it fold down but anyway this is this is about as tough as the rest of the tractor this bolts directly to the frame in there super super tough point right there and i think that'll be very very useful as far as tying these down on trailers and stuff, as well as having to pull something backwards if you don't have a loader on the front, it might benefit you to do that. You can see this was the prototype. Now this one is not powder coated. It is spray painted Kubota orange spray paint. Some of you know you can buy that in a can, but this was the prototype. I give it to my dad. The bolt spacing had to be adjusted just a little bit 
but same concept still goes uh, right on there this will fit any Kubota tractor front end that has a seven and a quarter by two and a half bolt pattern on the front of the frame I haven't done a ton of research on a lot of the other models but just looking at the front of the frame that's probably a pretty standard bumper mounting uh, bolt pattern so just if you have questions whether this will fit or not just make sure you measure center to center it is a seven and a quarter by two and a half so there's that those are on our website uh, i've got a special section on the website for our custom parts like this i'll put links to all these products in the description below so make sure you check it out our next product is the protective cover over your hydraulic controls here it's got a bunch of rain on it it's been pouring rain today i didn't think i was going to be able to make this video just give you a little glance over this part i ripped off the first week i had the tractor from the factory which i don't even the guard i think is way over there at the shop i'm not going to walk over there in the mud but from the factory the bolt holes are slotted they just have a little a little hook and they just i know it's designed that way because you can pull the cover off easily you can just loosen the bolts pull the cover off i think it's maybe 14 gauge maybe 16 gauge i think it's 14 gauge steel from the factory with the powder coating this box is 3 16 this box weighs 30 pounds so definitely a lot heavier duty than factory it's before it rips this box off it's going to rip the brackets and everything off the frame or break the bolts or something before it rips this off but i didn't even know i ripped it off i was bush hogging some saplings and they caught here and pulled this down and i run over it before i even knew what happened and it was destroyed so i couldn't i couldn't even put it back on the tractor it's got a logo in it right there direct replacement for the oem box there and i also close the end a lot more on the top and get around back here and see if we can put the camera on the stick and get it way up in there you can see it's closed in a lot more from the back you actually have to this hydraulic line right there you will have to loosen it and clock it a little bit to rotate it out of the way because the cover um, just goes further under there for more protection. But this one is the one that goes for the M4. You notice it comes up past the loader a little bit higher, comes a little bit higher on the front, covers all that area. Let's go over here and check out the one on the 6060 model. Now this one is slightly smaller in just physical size, just for this tractor is not as wide. So you can see it tucks under the steps a little bit tighter. But same deal, 3 16 direct bolt in tried to close in the back all i could without getting in the way of the hydraulic lines you can see three sixteenths and this is all broke one piece the thing i didn't like about the oem piece is it was a lot of pieces i think whenever they are manufacturing these tractors, they have a lot of things that will interchange different models. So they'll, they'll just add uh, a little piece here, 
I think my box was a three piece. I think dad's was a three piece as well. And I don't see the point in having all those pieces. When you have all them pieces, they move around and things, you know, gets distorted and then it eventually ends up on the ground under the bush hog. So on these, these are a single piece of metal that has been broke in a press brake and TIG welded at every joint. You see this has been folded over and this has been folded over so you have your crease here. So all these are TIG welded, completely solid, all one piece. So that is the two products that we have out for these tractors now. Remember the M4-061 uh, and the 071 and the M6060 and 7060. These may fit other models. I know the that's why I put the bolt spacing on the website link for the bumper tie or for the front bumper tie down because I don't have different tractor models here in front of me to verify and I'm not going to say that they fit other tractor models unless I can verify it. So I'm giving you the bolt spacing so you can verify for yourself if it may work for your model. But the covers, they will work for those four models that I just said, the 6060, the 7060, and both M4 models. Mosquitoes is eating me up. But make sure you check it out, rock-solid-motorsports.com. Uh, look in the RSM custom parts section. It'll be a tab on the home page. Just scroll down and you'll see the custom parts. You'll probably see a picture of one of these pieces that are in raw form being welded up or something like that, or a picture of the tractor. So we've got some other unrelated parts in there as well that we make. But make sure you check them out. And hopefully some of you guys can use some of this stuff. I've got on the radar, on my mind, I may do something with the front bumper here to protect the grill. Something that is pretty simple that can go in there. The next thing that's on my mind is maybe an undercarriage skid pan. I know some of you have already done it, but I noticed a huge dent in the bottom of my hydraulic filter there and I don't like that so I'm thinking next is maybe a complete underbelly skid pan that protects the oil pan and all of that stuff under there maybe something that bolts uh, wraps around and catches the loader bolts that would be a a really good plus but we'll see these are heavy heavy duty parts and they're gonna cost a little bit to ship. This little bumper thing here, it probably won't be that much, but that box, expect about $50 shipping on that just because of the weight of the thing and the size box we're gonna have to put it in so it can make it to you. So thanks for watching and hopefully we'll be coming out with some more products for these things. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a little tip on installing one of these by yourself with no help. If anybody's ever tried to muscle one of these bumpers on, on your own, it's pretty tough, or I'm just pretty weak, but getting your arm up under this and trying to hold it up one arm and get a bolt started, is pretty tough by yourself without any type of jack or anything. So I'm gonna show you how to install this uh, front tie down point or tow hook or whatever you wanna call this uh, part that we offer to your front bumper by yourself. So the first thing you're gonna do is take one of your bottom corner bolts out. This, I've just got a Milwaukee impact gun. Here. All right, you're gonna take the lock washer off that was on their factory, put it back on the supplied longer bolt, and you're gonna put it through the bottom corner hole on your bracket. Started. Don't tighten it super tight. 
just snug it where the bumper ain't gonna flop around. It could probably go a little bit tighter now. Okay. Now, you're gonna take out all the rest of your bolts, but now your bumper won't fall off. And surely you're strong enough, whoever's doing this, to hold it from uh, clocking side to side so it don't hit your hood. So next, take the rest of these out. Go ahead and switch your washers before you get the last one out. That way you've got some free hands. Make sure you catch it up here. And see there, it didn't even move. Well, we tried to a little bit, but pretty much effortless. Now I'll just rotate it in place, and it is a lot easier to handle. Run that up where it don't rotate. Just getting them all in before you tighten any of them down because the bumper holes and the holes on this are slightly oversized so it's not you know so hard to fit up There it is. Give you a little close up of that. Lower the camera down. Nice toe point or a tie down for the chain to go through when you're loading it on the trailer and hauling it. So, quick install tip.